What's up YouTube, Mellow West Matt here. We are back for, I believe this is now episode 15. And it's been a while since I've actually recorded. Obviously it won't make a difference for you, but I've been to BCS France. I've been off ill for a few days. We're starting to clear up a little bit now, so I thought best time to get back in and start grinding. And if you remember the last episode, we fought Megami and she trounced us. So we are back for a rematch. So let's go. Oh, we don't need to watch this story because we've seen it all before. Skip the story. Because obviously we had the love triangle situation mentioned last week. Deck wise. I feel I'm going to stick with Bath Saga for now. May change it up for uh, episode 16, but for now I'm just happy playing Bath Saga. Because the other ones aren't 100% 100 done, and I still need a little bit of tweaking for them. This is a good hand, so I need you back, and that's it. And we got Dusty instead, which is even better. So you use you, ditch the moon. Do a crit, which is sad times, but oh well. And then draw this, soul blast this. To grab our shield. Another thing I've decided off screen is how I'm actually going to cut in and out and skip all the free fights on the, on the story because it takes quite a bit of time and honestly that's not as exciting for you guys as watching the story so I'll still do be doing the free fights but you won't actually see the free fights unless something stupid happens and I want to cut it in for a bit of editing. Uh, no guard this one. We can take the damage. We can then discard our shield. Pick our shield back up again. We're not in a bad spot at the moment. I can't remember what Megami did to us because it's been that long since the I last recorded. Over a week now, I think it is? Yeah, because I did some last minute recording Wednesday morning, I think it was. Thursday morning, even. Alright, go for you, discard our shield. Ooh, we drew a persona. That's actually really good. We're actually in a really healthy spot at this point. And enter main phase, enter battle phase, and swing. Ah, critical trigger! Hopefully, Mega Me chucks the front row down and actually starts to rush us on turn two. So I can nuke it with Bob Saga and actually do stuff. I right, she got a front. That's good, that means she's not drawing cards. And a Gavreg, which is good. Because Gavreg actually hurts us more, because obviously we're keeping Trick Stars on the board, which are grade zeros. Ooh, he, she got Dimino Root. Nice. Ooh. And there's the Ganosla. Cool, a front row to nuke. We'll take this one in case we hit defensive. No, we got Obsidian Ride. Thanks, game. I'm going to play safe. I'm going to guard with the vanilla crit. Actually, no. We'll guard with the effect crit. Because it's something I can call back. And I should utilize better. Nope. And, and yeah, I can justify going to three. No, Trick Moon! Did not want to see that. Alright. So we're going to ride our nice SP buff saga because we got really nice with the packs off screen. Uh, 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 um. Go and discard the sword. It's not really in need of the sword as such. Because we're going to put a lot of pressure on this turn anyway. Oh, cool. Travis down. We're then going to play our spear. Going to counter blast the trick moon. Use our spear to draw. 
And I saw that heal. Then use Barbsagra to Soul Charge of Barbsagra. This, this game just doesn't want me to Persona right outside the one we've got. Then obviously Trick Moon will get us a Counter Charge. Okay, then we'll play another Shield Down. Then we'll play Shield Down, so we'll just Counter Blast again with Trick Moon. He's going up, down, up, down, up, down. Actually, I can play a little bit smart here. I'll do this. So I'm blasting out the one in case I want to call that. There, that. And then we are going to activate Travis. Because, haha, I want extra soul. Yep, and he gains the power. No, we don't want to call you. We want to call Adala. Not Adala. Ashana. And use your skill. You gain power. And we'll count blast. And we are going to call you out because you force bigger numbers. Pop you there because in case we only want to intercept with you. It's not high. And main phase. We'll swing a Travis first. That forces a 15k shield out of hand if she wants to guard, but she doesn't. She's, we know she's got the perfect guard in hand, so she's saving it for the Bab Saga play. And we'll then activate our Trick Moon to gain the extra 20k. No guard? That's not the trigger I wanted, but that's the trigger I'll take. And we can heal the Trick Moon. Giving power here. Come on, crit, 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 crit. Never mind. That puts us in a really solid spot now for the, ne for the next turn to call our final turn and pick killer. Don't lord the Liga. Oh, she heals down to four anyway. That's still not in a bad spot anyway. Fortunately, last side now doesn't hit, but we'll swing anyway, just for the fact of swinging, say. But next turn... Oh no, next turn I won't kill her now. Which is a shame. Magnolia Delano! And... She gets a draw trigger off of, La off of Lattice, which I'm fine with. Oh, she didn't let that elephant from the back row attack. Okay. Um, don't activate you. But what we are going to do is this. Which is a one to pass. And this. Um, oh, actually, I haven't got enough to do what I want to do. I wish I had shielded now. Oh, well. Um, that. And that down. Do that for a two to pass. Fine, then obviously Magnolia kicks in. Does the CV1, give Park to the elephant as expected. Okay, so I'm going to shield here to gain the 10k, which then blocks this attack. Oh, not Travis, not Travis. I need Travis for the extra soul shard. Oh, God, I misclick. Oh, I mismathed. I have an extra shield for my hand. Oh, 
Although she attacked wrong, though, technically, at that point. Because if I'd have said no guard, Elephant would have gained his 5k. So, I'll take it. Good to go on Selena. Also, if you I'm taking that first elephant, I can then save the Travis that way. We're not going to declare final turn this turn, because I don't think we are going to do it with the size of her hand. And we'll call you down over here. And Soul Blast are two Psanarides. Two Nuke front row. Gain a critical. We are going to use Travis. Because I can then kill off the Elephant. And I've then got enough Soul to actually do Love Saga and Extend now. And just for that extra little bit of oomph, we're going to pull you down here to make magic numbers. And main phase, and let's start swinging. Trick Moon goes dress up all stuff! For 58k, nice big numbers. There's the perfect guard that we knew about. Now, I want a crit to put onto Travis. Thanks, game. I love you too. And uh, we'll give the power to Travis as well, because I'm going to try and force out a lot of shield from her hand. That's 53k, that's a big number. Heal to Liga. Don't get to heal, but we're going to give power to Travis again. I think the words, gimme PG, or gimme shield. Oh, she did have a second PG, fair enough then. So we are going to get to push her to 5 now, no matter what. Because she won't have enough shield to block her, the Adala swing. And then next time we can go final turn. Let's draw. So yeah, pretty good position at this point. I'm quite happy with how it's going. Shield. Apologies for that. I just had a, report. I had a message about France. Which I'll respond to in a minute. Oh, I misclicked. Do, 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 do. Boop. Uh, that's two to pass. Because I noticed that they don't like to do the... Eep! me now. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think next time's going to be a final turn now. <laughs> Lord Liga. Actually, I'm not hitting that. Oh no, because that's just the shield. So I do want to give the power to the Vanguard. That puts me in 23k base. Uh, that just saved our ass. I think the best words are for that. Ooh, we drew a dollar off of our draw. That's not really good. Alright. Um, it's a waste, but... Yep, I'm... Well then, I think it's the words used... Very nicely there. Stand on the floor. Um, what's the current card she got in hand? Seven. I'm not going to kill her this turn, I don't think. 
But I am, however, going to do a nice big push still. This is going to be our last usage of Buff Cyber because we can't generate the soul now anymore. Alright, get that there. And then, obviously, Nuke. Hmm. Just so I can hit numbers, I am going to activate Travis as well. Takes out her back row. And I'll get an additional soul charge out of it for the just in case I get lucky situations. Because actually, if I draw a sword and soul blast, then use Bob Sakura to soul charge and call back a crit and start doing combos that way. Yes, a bull star. Yep, as expected, another perfect guard. Now, if the game wants to give me another crit, I wouldn't say no. Or my over trigger, perhaps. Um, at this point, I want to put a draw. I'm going to put the outside. Nope. But look at my hand, I'm in a good spot to actually survive the turn and I can then guarantee my kill next turn. Because it's going to be interesting if she can block the Ashiana combo. Because that's about to get massive because of the trick star. Yeah, 45, so it'll be 35k shield. So it'll be two triggers. Which I think she'll have at this point, plus another five count top. Oh no, she had she had the front from earlier. I forgot that part. I know because that was a defense, that was a defensive one, so that front was unknown, but the heel was known. Right. I'll oh, stop with the persona. Right, it's gonna kill me. Ginosla, Ginosla. At least they're not in the back row. Oh, never mind. Don't activate. Can't in Gado. Actually, I've just realised. Her the Gnosis in the back row is actually more beneficial. Stop healing! Because <laughs> she's not getting the Persona Ride power onto them. Hang on, why'd she give the heal power to the f AI is not smart. Okay. Kill has all. She's going to pass the 15 over to the other Gnosla. Don't activate the shield. Guard with Trick Moon. And then I can shield and one of the draw triggers to block this. That uh, gain ten k, and that gains another ten k. Right, I think I'm going to declare the final turn this turn. Alright, let's go. Let's start swinging. Dressable star! So that was just a 48. Now, has she got enough to block it, is the question. Come on, Crit, come on, Crit. That's Trick Moon. That's not much crit either. 
I may have preemptively called final turn then, and this could be an issue. Tee hee. <laughs> Triggering Megumi. Me. Thankfully, this still hits because of the Grade One's 5k power gain because of being double armed. But the interesting question is, what does she have for blocking this color? Because obviously, when dress boost will kick in, give me another 20k, which is going to force 15k shield. And I drained a lot of her shield last turn. Never mind, she drew a heal. Oh no, she drove checker because I yelled. Oh, oh well. Should have kept the other trick moon in hand for a boost upon Travis, and I could have done other stuff, but oh well. I should have even intercepted with Travis. And had 13k in the front row. Uh, check board. Who's attacking? Magnolia. Don't activate, because I need to save you for later. Let's do the two triggers. Thankfully, no persona right this turn. What's the luck? Right, so I think the play next turn is I'll... For this turn, is I'll intercept Travis on the whichever Ganossa is in the back row. That's going to pass its 15k over to the Ganoth, front row Ganoth. Oh, it's passing to the elephant, okay. That actually makes it better, actually. So I can now intercept with this. And that blocks that attack. Then, shield blocks this attack. And that stopped. Now, the elephant doesn't gain his 5k, because there's nothing in front of him. He hasn't got enough units in front of him. So, that and that deals with the elephant. Plus, it would actually dealt with the elephant as well, if even if the elephant had got the plus 5k. And now I go for the win. No, we're not riding. We're going to push you forward. Call you down here. And just start swinging. I think it's the best response. Bangado de Ataku! The Lance of Booster! Where do they all come from? Come on. Over trigger. Over trigger. That's not an over trigger. Over trigger. Why do I even? Right, so you're the smaller side. I swing in with you. Because you're 35, other side's 38. Bless a ball star. No guard. Thank you. Now die. Even on her dying breath, she still hits a trigger. <laughs> Alright, got 2,900 points. Right, let's see the next part of the story, how this ends. How could I have lost? The Danji? That's not what Yuki is here to do. Huh? Isn't that right? Yeah, I've never even met this Danji to begin with. <laughs> oh, come on, tell me that before we fight. <laughs> you were on a said enough talk. <laughs> I was. You really turn into a different person when it comes to Danji. But you see, 
fine. Then why did he say he was interested in her? I came here for a reason. Because he... Hanji Megu Meguro. That's the guy you fought on stream, right? We fought one more time after that. What? He said he wanted to face me as a fighter. But it was a trap. What does that have to do with Danji? He asked me to do something for him. He said to investigate a team that could threaten him one day called Blackout. Huh? Help us? I'm sorry, but I couldn't bring myself to tell you. I think it was because my brother's dream was riding on my success. My vanguard always used to be for the sake of others. But that fight forced me to face something. In that moment, I lost vanguard. I lost myself. I lost everything. I was struggling with it for all this time. When I realised that even if I lost, I shouldn't put all of you on the line. Even if it's for his sake or for my own selfish reasons. I truly believe that now. I'm so, so sorry. Yuki. Yuki. I didn't realise. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? This is all my fault. I'm sorry that I forced you to fight all those times when it was hurting you. You agreed to fight us so many times. Knowing that you felt this way as I kept forcing you to fight is just... Sorry, Yuki. No, I get it. He realised you were here to spy on us. I apologise too. Okay then, let's all go find Danji. Huh? I know he'll be able to figure something out, especially given this situation. I'm sure he'll understand how you feel. Nagumi, but I... Come on, Yuki. Let's go, you guys. Okay, she's blushed. Yuki blushed. Oh, we unlocked Meg Megami's deck. And there's the man of the hour. Just double check. No one over here to fight, beat up. Nope. Right, let's go see the man, the myth, and the legend. We are at Wonder Hill. Isn't this an amusement park? Welcome to Wonder Hill. This is where we come to Vanguard. So this is the infamous Yuki Ichidoji. Danji-san, Danji Moyama, a vanguard legend who once led Team Blackout. He was the pillar of the night amusement park crew, but now choose to keep his distance. Other find him others find him hard to read, as no one can tell what he's whether whether he's joking around or being serious. Um, Yuki is here. Yes, I'm aware of everything. Uh, but first, time to see if you all you cracked up to be by fighting you myself. Huh? Wait, Danji? She is? I know. But this is what I always do. I figure people out by butting heads with them. You know that. Danji? Danji san? <laughs> Standing in her way was the tiger of Kaga, Amira's sweet big brother, Danji Momoyama. Oh, they actually addressed it. Danji and Mirai, uh, brother sister. Hey. His challenger, Setsu Getsuka's dominating yet empty leader, Yuki Ichidoji. Uh, I like that look in your eyes. Let's do this. So this is going to be Bruce, and this is going to be fun. But with how my luck's been going with Bav, I want to change off Bav. And we're going to go to Orphist. Hopefully by the next episode I'll have finished off my office list and, we'll have, and I can properly swap to it. This actually ain't a bad hand. She's got the second team turn one discard. And he's going first as well. Which means we can go aggro a little bit because we've got our Thumberino to go aggro with. Oh. Oh, we got a second Thumbrina. Nice. So we're going to discard Tectian for the right deck. We'll do Tectian first, because he has a smaller card pool to search from. 
One, two, three, four. Yes, we got an order. So we'll take you. Then we're going to get your skill, which will get me my token summoning order for the turn two play. And then we'll draw a card after all that's finished resolving. And that draws us yet another order. That's the draw one. Nice. And yeah, we'll just swing straight like that. There's no need to discard it, to rush at this point. Because we're going to have good solid turn two, good turn three. Ooh. A um, bit of a wasted heal, but it's extra shield at this point. Because obviously we have got four cards in our hand which aren't shield. Pronto Tliga. Oh, so Bruce, he's rainbowing Bruce. Okay. That's good. Piedra? Okay. Oh, Bruce go brrrr. I'll take this one. If I hit defensive, good. If not, I'll take the Vanguard swing and hope for a defensive there. No, it's Alvador. Come on, defensive. Defensive, defensive. A brother's soul. Thank God. And it's a heal on top, which is really good. Because that means it keeps us at one. Uh, that does mean we are two heals down, though. Alright, and at this point, we're going to discard you. Alright, then we'll play you by Count Blasting you. Dark Knight Door. Resolve you, spawn a token. Hit. And use your skill. We're going to give 5k to the Vanguard. Because then obviously that's some pressure there. And we're going to put Bobble behind the Vanguard as well. Because that gives us even more pressure. Hang on, out of curiosity. And uh, about this unit boosted. So, yeah. No, I was right doing that this. Cool. No, I just couldn't remember if Bomb Mine attacks. It could tuck itself in and that would make cool, cool combo plays for turn three. But no. not Doesn't do that. Alright, perfect guard. That's good. It's check good. It's fine. And then we can use Bobble to tuck himself into Soul. Give us a counter charge. And then this side can swing in. But yeah, the only thing I'm really missing from the deck is Kagula. Just for extra token spawning. But for that, I've got to dive into the promo pack, which isn't a fun time. So I could be there for a while trying to get them. D skill. Wait, he's got a D skill? Okay then. <laughs> Don't you have a D skill to heal? A uh, little Thumberino to draw. And I set healthy eight card hand. Plenty of shield in there. And here comes his Bruce Saw. And he's going to Brother's Soul. That was double Lyle, which I'm happy with. Right. We're not gonna guard this. Because I want the anime I want the Bruce Danji image. For screenshots. And he goes back down to the pond. God damn it, Danji. Got that. It's beautiful. And a little skull. Come on, defensive. Draw trigger, thank God. That's actually a really good position for us. Because now one of the columns can't hit. The other one's only a 5k shield. Which I can chuck a Thumberino. Because I don't need all these Thumberinos that I've got in my hand. Look at that hand. Gonna uh, office three. Just what do we draw for turn? Oh, we drew that him. Uh, what do we discard? I think we're gonna discard one of our draws. Uh, 
the North East Regis will activate to play our token order from the drop zone. Actually, Smart Ocean might have been to do the token order from hand to get an, get two draws in circulation. Try and dig for some extra pieces, because I do need a Persona Ride for next turn, ideally. Ooh! Especially now with that. But we can discard an order off a perfect guard, so that's not too bad. Well, actually, no, we can just discard for the Vanguard skill. Discard it for the Vanguard skill. And we're going to call you... There. And swing in. Skill, hat, saw. Counter blast one. Discard our order. That's all. So, yep, discard that. Getting one shadow token. And we're going to put it in front of Thumbo. And obviously, this will activate, giving the token another 5k. Hopefully, off the Twin Dive and the Thumbo, we can actually get into another Orphus Regis. Ooh, draw trigger. Gave us perfect guard. Actually, no, not there. We want to give it to this side. So, if he doesn't defensive, both sides can still hit the Vanguard. Yep, no defensive there. And swing. And forces that out of his hand, which I'm fine with. He's not got the best of hands, actually, looking at it. And then this will swing it in at the Vanguard. Skill. Big boost, 43k, which he's obviously not going to block, so it's not going to be a killing shot. And obviously we then get our Thumberino to draw us another card. But it gives us a good board position, actually, because we're left with one card on field. We've got a nine card hand. Oh, we've got another tech team, nice. At this point, though, tech team is a dead card to us, because we've got most of our stuff out of it. Oh, he hit Persona Raid. Okay. So we'll chuck a 10k in front of you. You don't want to get swinging boosted. Oh, my luck. oh, no, you didn't. Okay. I'm going to chuck a 15 in front of you then. Bruce skill. Yep. And I got the Bruce image. Beautiful. He gains power because he's restood. Wait, is he getting, does he gain power for each card that stands? Let's go chop check that one. When your rear guard stands, you find out to get plucked. Oh! Uh, we're not going to guard that one. Oh, he definitely wants to make that side here. Kanji, stop healing. So, I'm more than likely going to four this turn now, though. Because what I'll do is I'll take both those hits, block just the... Unless I have a defensive here. Thank you, game. Actually... I do want to put that here, because I still want to keep a unit on board at this point, actually. Okay, he swings that side first. That's fine with me. Just go on defensive again. Thank you, game. I get to save my hand. Now both units are big enough, but we still haven't seen Office Regis yet. Was that? No, it wasn't. No, never mind. But the bomb mine's nice. 
Uh, call you here. Um, play. Um, actually, we're going to play you down as our order for Tad. Because obviously, you're a disposable token at this point. So calling over you with reach doesn't actually hurt. Move you back, and I'm going to call Tectian down on there. All right, let's start swinging. So I'll swing this first at the Vanguard. Because we're going to get two token calls this turn. Because we've got obviously got our four orders now instead of our two. We blocked that, which is fine. Because that means we can now swing in the unboosted here. We can save our bomb mine for our bigger push. Oh, he blocked that as well. Interesting. Then we swing in with Orphis Regis. Skill, count plus one, would discard the draw trigger from hand. Because the heal still has it got uses for us. Because it's an extra shield heal. Thing is, that, is it the restand one? I'll check it in a sec. We'll pop one over you and one over the other token. Uh, that's the crit heal, okay. Which is less useful in this situation because obviously he's not using his Brian's to gain crits. But it's still got a chance to go up in case he does with the later games. Oh, well, there's that. I don't need. And a critical trigger. Nice, we get to push to four. So crit to you, power to you. So now both will hit over if he hits one defensive. You just guys getting a bit of a longer episode out of me today, because obviously the Megumi fight actually went on for quite a while. Oh, that's Luka! God damn it, Tanji. What aren't you going to hit on me? On the upside, though, that means I can take out your rearguard and actually put nice pressure on you for next turn. Because I've still got my own trigger left, and I've got a hand to actually guard, so I don't need to actually put a lot of pressure on at this point. No guard, he says. As I take out his other rear guard, we'll bomb mine. Because it gives us an extra counter charge, which is really useful at this point. What have we got on our damage? Great, draw. Heal does not make a difference. And so our entire damage zone is actually triggers. <laughs> Final Rasho. Persona Lido. There's the Lyle. He's going to gain even more power. And Soul Charge and Call. Okay. And he's got his brother's soul to Soul Charge them all. But he's got his sixth soul at this point. Okay. That blocks that. That's good. We're going to have to take one of these swings. Because I can't block everything. Come on. Defensive, please. It's the Orpus Regis I've been waiting the entire game for. Right. I just realised I could have done that and the back of our intercept. And it, how much do you actually go to? You gain shield, don't you? Oh, you gain 10k shield. You're useful then. Well, we are just going to perfect guard this attack. And we'll discard one of our moons. 
That's a fire. Oh, that's a... Oh, so basically I've got to kill the next hell as I'm dying, die. Don't you stop healing? <laughs> At least he can't heal. At least he can't heal. Actually, we're in a really good spot here. I'm still saving the moon in my hand at this point. Alright, so you and you. Gardo. This is literally going to have to be our part. I hope we top deck up Sonar at this point. Otherwise, we are royally screwed. <laughs> and actually, your skill, I've got one less, one or less in hand, so I don't have to discard. Nope. Right, let's have some fun. Watch this. Watch me now. Draw the over trigger off this. I'm calling it now. Why don't we draw the over trigger? No, that's actually good though. That's actually good though. Because that's my discard fodder. Alright, let's start swinging. First swing. He takes. That's fine. It's not defensive. Second swing. He takes. That's it. That's the worst one for him to hit. Vanguard of the attacker. Skill. Cat last one. Discard Tectian. Could, which could actually benefit us if we actually do end up hitting an order of Tectian's top five check. Alright, cool. Cool. I need a heal. That's literally gonna. That be a, we'll do Tectian first, see what we have. We'd have hit a heal, but we do thin our deck of an order, which is really good. And both of our sides got up to 20k. But it does mean we need a trigger on either of them to actually hit the Vanguard, though. That's fine. I'm leaving over triggers. Come on, my turn now. Don't you hit his? Only fair I hit mine. That's a trigger, at least. Right. That's not a trigger. That's 15k shield, though. That's actually really solid at this point. We'll use you to take out the intercept actually, because that'll slow down his soul truck. He's only got one soul. And he's close to deck out. That takes his heal out of hand, that's fine. So judging our situation, we've got two fifteen K shields in hand, we've got the perfect guard, so we can block three attacks. As long as he doesn't go stupid with numbers. There's his persona at height. I think this is going to be the one I perfect guard here. Oh no, I've got to take something, haven't I? Because uh, that's 31 as well and I can only hit 28 max. Yeah, no guard. Do we hit the hit, uh, heal slash over trigger? That is literally our only out. Is a heal or an over trigger? He'll over trigger wins it. If not, we'll have to fight him back again in the next episode. Nope. Right. Oh. Well, we lose to Danji. Shame, but it is what it is. Oh, I've got to assign the power still, even though I'm dead. Well, that was a good game. It's just not seeing the Office Regis hurt so much. Alright, so between episodes, I'm going to try and get my calculus sorted.
Because we've got 5,500 5, 5, to use on packs. Actually... Yeah, so I'll do that between episodes. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't done so already, please do like and subscribe. It very much does help the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.